colposcopy introduction a colposcopy is a very safe procedure it lets your gynecologist get a close look at the cervix this patient education program will help you better understand the procedure its indications and possible risks and complications anatomy female reproductive organs include the vagina the uterus the fallopian tubes the ovaries the female reproductive organs are located in the pelvis between the urinary bladder and the rectum the lowest part of the uterus is the cervix it opens into the vagina which in turn opens to the outside of the body between the urethra which is the urinary bladder opening and the rectum the cervix comes in contact with sperm during unprotected sex which makes the cervix vulnerable to sexu- sexually transmitted diseases some of these diseases are linked to the development of cervical cancer cervical cancer cancer can affect the cervix some sexually transmitted viral infections can lead to cancer cervix a vaccine is now available to prevent some of the viral infections that can cause cervical cancer make sure to ask your healthcare provider about that vaccine when cervical cancer is found and treated early it can be cured can be cured your gynecologist can perform a test called a pap smear this helps find cervical cancer early for pap smear the gynecologist swabs cells from the cervix and smears them on a glass slide the slide is then sent to a pathologist the pathologist looks at the cells under a microscope and is able to identify infections cancers or cancerous changes in the cells that could lead to cancer after a pap smear your gynecologist may decide to take a closer look at the cervix by doing a colposcopy colposcopy a colposcopy is an outpatient procedure which means the patient goes home when the procedure is done a colposcopy should not be scheduled during a menstrual period because the blood could make it difficult for the gynecologist to see inside the body during a colposcopy the patient lies down on the examination table with her legs bent and spread apart the gynecologist inserts a speculum into the vagina to hold it open during the procedure this is not painful but can sometimes be uncomfortable you should tell your doctor if you feel pain and discomfort the gynecologist uses a microscope and a powerful light to look at the cervix if the doctor finds an abnormal spot he or she may remove the whole thing or just a piece of it the removal tissue the removed tissue will be sent to a pathologist to be tested during a colposcopy the gynecologist may use a laser to burn off abnormal areas he or she may also use an instrument called a loop to remove tissue If there are no obvious abnormalities on the outer part of the cervix the doctor may scrape the inside of the cervix to find out if there are abnormalities that cannot be seen a colposcopy is not painful but can be uncomfortable most women can continue with their daily routine after colposcopy depending on how much tissue is removed the doctor may ask that for several days or weeks the patient refrain from vigorous exercise heavy lifting sexual intercourse using ta- use of tampons risks and complications a colposcopy is a very safe procedure it has some risks and complications these complications are very rare but include infection bleeding either d- during or after the procedure a colposcopy may need to be repeated on a regular basis if abnormal areas are found after the procedure After a colposcopy the doctor may apply a special paste on the affected area that will help it heal faster this may cause a thick brownish black discharge from the vagina for a few days women who un- undergo a colposcopy may expect some cramping and bleeding for 2 to 3 days after the procedure any bleeding should not be heavy if you experience severe bleeding foul smelling vaginal discharge fever severe abdominal pain or any unusual symptoms you should call your doctor summary a colposcopy is a safe procedure it can help your gynecologist diagnose and treat common cervical problems as you have learned complications may occur knowing about them will help you detect them early with the help of colposcopy your doctor may be able to detect cervical abnormalities and treat them early giving you the best chance of a successful cure
Thank you for a patient hearing. Thank you.